What is antiscalant, its uses and purpose in RO plants, and how to calculate its dosing quantity? Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about antiscalant, what it is, its uses and purpose in RO plants, and how to calculate its dosing quantity. What is antiscalant? Antiscalant is a chemical that is added to water to prevent the formation of scale. Scale is a hard deposit that can form on surfaces when water containing dissolved minerals evaporates. It can be a major problem in RO plants, as it can clog the membranes and reduce their efficiency. The most typical mineral scales to be concerned about are Calcium carbonate Calcium sulfate Strontium sulfate Barium sulfate Uses and purpose of antiscalant in RO plants Antiscalant is used in RO plants to prevent the formation of scale on the membranes. This is important because scale can clog the membranes and reduce their efficiency. Antiscalant also helps to reduce fouling, which is the accumulation of organic matter on the membranes. Benefits of RO antiscalants The following are the principal advantages of using antiscalant in your RO plants. 1. The RO membranes are protected from scaling and fouling by antiscalant chemicals. 2. Minerals including calcium sulfate, calcium carbonate, barium sulfate, silica, calcium fluoride, and strontium sulfate, can all be found in scale. To remove calcium carbonate, other mineral fouling, and sulfate precipitates, antiscalant should be dosed before the RO membranes. 3. Due to its unrivaled efficiency in minimizing membrane fouling, antiscalant is the primary pretreatment technology for water systems. 4. Very high rates of recovery are achieved when very low quality feed water is processed with an antiscalant chemical. 5. When used appropriately, antiscalant can in some situations increase the interval between membrane cleanings from a few weeks to years. 6. Scaling causing minerals can be properly managed. 7. Compatible with the most widely used membranes available. 8. Particle foul ants should be put out to maintain a clean membrane area. 9. With RO systems, significantly higher recovery rates can be attained, lowering operational expenses. How to calculate antiscalant dosing quantity. The amount of antiscalant that needs to be added to water depends on a number of factors, including the composition of the water, the operating conditions of the RO plant, and the type of antiscalant being used. To calculate the antiscalant dosing quantity, you can use the following formula. Dosing quantity, mg slash l, equals, scale factor, x, scale potential, x, safety factor. Scale factor, this is a number that represents the likelihood of scale forming in the RO plant. It is determined by the composition of the water. Scale potential, this is a number that represents the amount of scale that could form in the RO plant. It is determined by the operating conditions of the RO plant, such as the temperature and pressure. Safety factor, this is a number that is added to the dosing quantity to ensure that enough antiscalant is present to prevent scale formation. How to apply antiscalant? Antiscalant is typically injected into the feed water stream upstream of the RO membranes. It can be injected using a metering pump or a static mixer. An antiscalant is added to the feed water and circulated through the system, before the water reaches the reverse osmosis membrane. Antiscalant is an important chemical that is used to prevent the formation of scale on RO membranes. Scale can clog the membranes and reduce their efficiency. To calculate the antiscalant dosing quantity, you can use the formula that I provided earlier. If you have any questions about antiscalant or RO plants, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share.